Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. There is never any dearth of drama on General Hospital or of villains in Port Charles. Although it is true that ever since Victor Cassadine and Ryan Chamberlain fell off the screen, PC has not seen a permanent villain on the throne. However, it seems that their legacies is beginning to be taken care of by the following generations. While Victor's evil genes skipped Valentin, Charlotte surely is living up to it. Similarly, Ryan's daughter is taking forward his legacy. And it's not Esme. Not too long ago, a new character was introduced on the screen amid the whole blackmailing ever story on General Hospital. We're talking about fake nanny, Betty. When she was first introduced, it appeared as though she is just a filler minor character. However, soon enough almost every GH viewer took note of how much importance her character was being given. She was interacting with characters beyond her pay grade, if we could say so. But not too long after that she sort of blended right back into the background. Not that the viewers cared for it at the point. But, 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 something tells us that putting her in the back burner could have been a deliberate attempt on the maker's part. Just so, to spring her back at us with the earth-shattering revelation. Yup, that's probably the big surprise. Months ago, when Heather was still trying to pursue Ryan in the prison, she made a rather vague statement on the lines of, there wasn't one but two. Could she be talking about children? Maybe she did not give birth to just Esma, but to twin daughters. And now, with Ryan gone, and the old familiar Esma gone too, Betty Dearest could be out for revenge.